Historically, Myanmar was world famous for its dense forests and boasted the richest tea preserves in existence. The renowned British botanist Kingdom Ward considered Myanmar as the paradise of plants. The military government claims that half the area of Myanmar is covered by forest and has an abandoned stock of timber yielding valuable timber profits. The military regime has adopted a policy of issuing permits to cut down Myanmar's forests to export to China and Thailand for foreign exchange since 1988. These unsustainable logging practices have rapidly decimated Myanmar's forests. Quantifying Myanmar's annual loss of forest is a difficult task, yet local people who live in around forests have witnessed their decline firsthand. They have suffered greatly as their livelihoods and daily needs derive from the forests and the manifold benefits they provide. Plants, shrubs, medicinal herbs provide nutrients and combat sickness, whilst bamboo poles and thatch provide shelter. <laughs> Pinlebu Township is situated in northern Sagain in Upper Myanmar. Formerly, 80% of Pinlebu was covered by forest. However, timber production companies closely associated to the Myanmar military government have extensively logged the township. Logging companies have sought and exhausted natural stocks of teak, ironwood and highly valuable yet nearly extinct rosewood. Myanmar's rural population encounters annual flooding, but in 2015 Myanmar suffered from devastating floods nationally that inundated 11 out of 14 states and regions. Over a million people have had their paddy fields washed away and have lost their livestock. Many of those affected have lost their homes, belongings and crops, leaving them heavily in debt. The main cause of flooding has been deforestation and rampant illegal logging. President Thein Sein came to power in 2010, promising a new democratic era of reform. However, the new government of Myanmar has been unable to hold widespread illegal logging taking place in Myanmar's forests. In 2014, the government promulgated a log export ban to cap the amount of timber being exported to foreign countries. However, 70% of forests in Pinlebu have disappeared. Despite the government reducing the amount of logging in Pinlebu Township after clearing the log export ban, illegal logging is still booming. The illicit trade is being carried out by timber smugglers who have bribed local authorities, forest department officials and local policemen. เออที่ตาลัวลั่วเสร็จที่ซัวล่ะล่ะก็บ่จองซัวล่ะแล้วสรแล้วเมนูลั่วเสร็จแล้วก็ตะล่าออกเราไปอ่ะเจ้าหน
ตัวมุ่งเนี่ยก็ติดตัวเลยอีซีเปลี่ยนตัวอะไรบ้างเอ้ยสักครั้งก็รอตลาดกูลาจีดูเอ้ยสังหารเอ้ยเป็นบล็
Formerly, livelihoods in Pinlebu were based around cultivation and the production of crops, and the forest provided plentifully. Traditional agricultural and customary practices were handed down through generations. The peaceful way of life and livelihoods has disappeared with deforestation. Yet the inhabitants of Pinlebu hope there is a dim chance for environmental restoration and a return to traditional way of life. <laughs> อกูเปียวเลยลุกซะลุกซ้าซะกันซ้าซะกาบาวะกูวะมีกูอาท่าซะไม่ใช่ตรงผิดตัวมาเอ้าแล้วเว้ยจนว่ากุยไปรู้ม